Hi everyone, Lewis here, and I'm back with a brand new Pokemon Go tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the brand new Daily Incense that was recently released into Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. Niantic recently announced that there was going to be a daily incense to course. I'm going to explain how it works and the Pokemon that can potentially spawn as a result of this new incense variant. If you want, I can also make a separate video talking about normal incense course there's a huge difference and I'll explain why very shortly. Recently Niantic started rolling this new version of the incense out. Just like the original incense that's been in the game since 2016, random Pokemon will spawn as you walk. But unlike the normal incense and even to a greater extent, the mystery box, which only contains Meltan, and that, along with the normal incense, lasts for an hour. This incense only lasts for 15 minutes. It's recommended that you walk in a straight line and constantly walk to get a lot of Pokemon. I believe the total Pokemon you can get from this daily incense is about 30, but though I haven't gotten that far, and of course, every midnight this will respawn in your bag, and of course it will also pop up at the game screen as you're playing the game, prompting you to use it immediately or maybe later. If you use it immediately, be prepared to walk in a straight line as I said. Now when Pokemon spawn as a result of this incense, it'll be surrounded by a blue ring of smoke. You click on that Pokemon and you'll be able to catch it. But of course, sometimes they will flee, including the Galarian forms of the Cantonian birds, Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos, which all three of them unfortunately have a high flea rate and a low catch rate. I would use Ultra Balls, Excellent Curveball, Throws, and Golden Raspberries if you want to catch them. These Pokemon are hard, but not impossible to catch. It can be done, but it's just not easy. Just gotta keep using this until you eventually get them. As you see here, I encountered Galarian Articuno used a Golden Raspberry Ultra Ball. Instead of an excellent throw, I ended up with a great throw as you'll see here. And watch as it pops out of the ball and then flees, proving that these variants from the Galar region of the Cantonian birds are not easy to catch. This incense is perfect for those who live in rural areas who have hardly any pokey stops or gyms and you can walk in that rural area as long as you have good cell service with this new incense. And of course, if you're lucky, you can also end up getting a shiny Pokemon this way, just like you would with a normal incense as a result of a special event such as Community Day, Safari Zone, GoFest, or even the Pokemon Tours. And I'm pretty sure if you use this during a Community Day, that said Pokemon will probably spawn for 15 minutes before you 
revert to not having no incense at all or the regular incense. And I like how Niantic added this new variant of the incense into the game to help people such as role players be able to catch Pokemon even if it's for 15 minutes. I hope this video was helpful in understanding how the new daily incense works. As I explained in that clip, rare Pokemon tend to spawn, including the Galarian forms of the three birds from Kanto, Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos, which of course, they're not easy to catch, and they have a high flea rate. And of course, you can catch them, it's not impossible, but it's just not easy though. You just gotta keep encountering them until you're lucky. Thanks for watching everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. Remember, it's time for adventure!